Rocket says, "Look up." Written by Nathan Bryan and illustrated by Dapo Adiola. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and look up at the stars. Mum tells me that I never stop looking up, and my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space traveler who has ever lived, like Mae Jemison, the first African American woman in space. Did you know Mae Jemison went into orbit around Earth in the space shuttle endeavor? Even though she's scared of heights, I'm totally prepared. I've defied gravity, captured rare exotic life forms, and built a ship to the stars. For today's mission, I'm going to see something incredible—the Phoenix meteor shower. I want everyone to see it with me, so I've made some flyers to hand out. Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the meteor shower, but first we have to go to the supermarket. While he's looking for the milk, I'll be trying to find the astronaut food. Did you know meteor showers happen when Earth moves through the trail of dust left by a comet? Did you know most meteors are smaller than a grain of sand? And did you know meteors are bits of dust burning up in the atmosphere? And did you know the best time to see a meteor shower is when it's dark with no clouds? In the supermarket, when Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. Tonight, come out and witness the amazing Phoenix meteor shower. Everyone looks up. Kathy takes her microphone back. As I hand out my flyers to other people in the queue, I think Jamal might be a tiny bit cross with me. The Phoenix meteor shower will come soon. We better drop off the shopping and get to the park fast. Whoops! <laughs> That wouldn't have happened if you had just looked up. Now Jamal is even more cross with me, and he says he won't take me to the park anymore. When we get home, Mum saves the day. Come on, Jamal," she says. "Put that phone down and take your little sister to the park." Yes, I jump up and down and do my famous victory dance around the house. Oh yeah! I grab my jetpack rucksack, but Jamal is still glued to his game. Wait till I completed the level rocket," he grumbles. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wowzers! Everyone's here, and they're all holding my flyers. To the park! I yell at the top of my lungs. We're all so excited. My neck is aching from staring up into the sky, but I won't stop. I can't miss it. Suddenly, the park goes silent. Even the birds are holding their breath. Everyone points their telescopes and binoculars up at the sky. I think I see one. But it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and wait and wait. It must be nearly time for the park to close. One by one, people start going home. Maybe the Phoenix meteor shower was just a myth. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. And maybe everyone is upset with me for wasting their time. I've never ever felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today. It feels like the first time ever. I've turned off my phone, sis. He says, "I'm sorry for making you wait in the freezing cold for nothing, Jamal. Let's go home." Suddenly. There's a big bright light in the sky. Look up! Phoenix meteor shower. I'm speechless. Jamal says 
He pulls out his flask and gives me a warm cup of hot chocolate. Yummy. We both sit down on the hill, watching meteors zoom across the sky. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know, one day, I'm going to have a meteor shower named after me? Thank you. Keep reading. Ignite your imagination.